Well, the final push for England. Been a memorable tour for them, quite miserable for Sri Lanka. 53 for four after 17 over Sri Lanka in their second inning, still 274 adrift. Same sort of work in the morning for both teams, business as usual. Lots of bowling, lots of catching. Understandable, you're into day four. Night watchman Sandakan to face. Immediate spin. Oh, hello. <laughs> Use the facilities. Six. Hit the rope on the full, so it's got to be six. Yes, it is. What was that? Surely wasn't a plan. We've seen batsmen hit full tosses to fielders before. That will find the gap and go all the way for four. Ends the 22nd over. It's 70 for four. Look out, umpire. At last. At last. Ball pretty well, Jack Leach. Night watchman perishes. Another catch for Stokes. Most number of catches for an outfielder. Or Ben Stokes. Angle. Yep. Not much you can do. You're going to be tempted to play at that. It's all England need to do. Be more consistent and hit those lengths. Which they haven't done today. Sandra Khan hung in there for quite a while. He's gone for seven. Sri Lanka 82 for five. Driven down the ground. That will go for four. Kusal Mendis inching towards a half century. He's on 49. He's a good player, Kusal Mendis, but we haven't seen the best of him in this series. Really struggled at times, but just signs this morning with the way that he's taking the attack to Adil Rashid. That's the third strong shot he's hit off Rashid. Just signs that he's finding a bit of form. I can tell you that there'll be great relief, not just in him, but for the selectors who persisted with him gets to a half century at a very important time of the game and also could be in an important stage of his career 97 for five oh he's let himself down a bit there Adil Rashid fabulous delivery followed by a long hop Calm and composed player, Russian Silver. As you say, he's not hopping around. It gives the impression that he's not unduly phased by whatever's coming down at him. In turn, that's a message to the opposition. But if they believe there's an opportunity here, they'll be at you. It'll give them extra energy to come at you. Short, pull behind square and placed well actually because Adil Rashid is hovering behind square the man out Johnny Bairstow is in front of square so Mendes picked his spot he moves into the 70s they're yeah, good of Giannis and to hit that with a bit of top spin didn't he to get it behind square and that's why it spun away fine of Bairstow that one held up and bounced from the pitch. Lovely shot. Beautifully played by Roshan Silva. The reverse sweep, which back in the day carried an element of risk, but the way he played that 
so controlled. Full toss. That's a very strong area of Kusal Mendes' uh, repertoire of strokes. The slug sweep is an option for him. And that goes away for four. And he's not really bold, this, Adil Rashid. He's just turned his arm over. There's no snap in his action. Change from Rashid with a googly. Oh, they're going to go for it. Thrown at the right end, direct hits. That might be what get England going. Absolutely brilliant from Jack Leach. It was a risky two. They were hesitant to start with, decided to give it a crack, and it's probably cost them dear. A number of times in this series that a brilliant piece of fielding has changed the course of the game. And think back to Palakelli, to Ben Stokes, to the assist from Jennings. This time it's Leach, of course, bowls left-handed, throws right-handed, and Kusel Mendes is miles short of his ground. It's a poor bit of running from Russian Silva because he took no account of what his partner wanted to do. He committed to the second himself, and he had no idea, really, that Kusel Mendes was going to be short of his ground. End of a wonderful innings, 86. He deserved 100, but he won't get there. 184 for six. <laughs> 50 for Roshan Silva to get the run out for a moment. That's a very nicely constructed innings. Yep, composed, controlled, very good player of spin. Here with the pitch drying up further and crumbling. The happy sweeper. Nothing's going to stop him playing that. I was talking to Hatteru Singer, the coach of Sri Lanka, all the day's play, and I was asking him about whether Dick Weller was going to come out and change his tact. He said, no, that's the way he plays. That's the way he's comfortable. He's attacking. He likes to sweep the spinners. Down the ground. Puts the pressure straight away on the bowler in a very unlikely manner. Well, Leach has had his struggles against the left-handed batsman, and Igwella not going for the sweep, but rather dancing down the track. Plenty of space over the top of the infield, and that shot has pushed mid-on from a conventional mid-on onto the fence. Given. Doesn't review, he walks. Niroshan Dekwala on the way back. Well, he didn't want to play the sweep shot because the Leach was pitching the ball in line with the stumps. He advanced the ball before, hit it down the ground over the top of the infield. They pushed the man deep, causing Dick Weller to go play the next ball on the back foot. Great bit of captaincy from Root, great bit of bowling from Leach. He's got his second left-hander for the Test Series. Dick Willow has to go for 19, 214 for seven. That'll be four. Ariel for a while, Butler thought he could haul it in. Just managed to get, him, get it over him at short mid-wicket. Little run, it's not hanging around. He's going to go after the bowling, especially when Moana Ali comes around the wicket. Cut! Tries to catch it and given Jennings again at short leg. Fantastic performance from him. Moan Ali has his third wicket. England have got another one. They are closing in on victory in this test match and a clean sweep in the series. Moinali strikes, extra bounce, and uh, Keaton Jennings, he's made that forward short leg position his own. He's gone for five, Sri Lanka 225 for eight. Oh, 
England spinners have been outstanding. Now they think that it was bad first. Not umpire Ravi. He has Roots having a word. Let's see if he's going to review it. They think it's bad, but yes, they've reviewed it. Fair delivery. Um, spin vision, please. Need Ultra Edge to confirm it's paired first. Okay, clipping the pad first uh, when ball tracking is ready, please. Uh, Ravi, the uh, impact is in line and it's hitting the stumps. You'll have to reverse your decision. You're on screen now. So that's the final, almost the final nail as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. The biggest obstacle, Roshan Silva. LBW, if it was bad first, it was always going to be tight. And that's what England thought. Well, that was the only question that Joe Root was asking Moeen Ali. Are you sure it was pad before bat? And once Moeen Ali had said yes, 226 for nine. Very close. Must have been an inside edge. You can hear Root there saying in the background he thinks he hit it. Had he not done, it was looking pretty good for England. 230 for nine. Don't think Root will review. Oh, he is reviewing. Just rock and roll that for me, please. Okay, can I just confirm with the ultra edge? Thank you. Going back to Ravi. Uh, Ravi, stay with your original decision. Root's initial instinct was absolutely spot on. He thought that there was an inside edge from Pushpak Amara onto pad. He was quite right. Pakamara sweeps and sweeps fine for four. He's trying to push this one through a little quicker. Powerful sweep from Push Pakamara. What a shot this is. Sweep, cut, and a mighty smite down the ground for six. Well, this is a counter-attack from Pushback Amara. This is Sri Lanka's final fling in this test match. Flashes just past Rashid's left hand, hit firmly by Push Pakamara down the ground. It's another boundary. Well, I think the butterflies are just starting to flutter England camp. Oaks think so, and the finger goes up. Sri Lanka have reviews, they must review. And Lakmal has reviewed. Impact is in line. And it is missing the stumps. The you wait goes now. on for England. The appeal was for a caught behind, I think, from folks. And that is the perfect illustration of the problems you have on a big turning pitch for an off spinner bowling over the wicket. Much easier from round. Once it hits the batsman in the line of the stumps, it's likely to be going down the leg side. That's Lakmal back cuts. Terrific shot, this.
Well, he hasn't bowled much, Lakma. Skip has decided if he's going to do anything this test series, he's going to have to do it with the bat. Oh! He's running away to the fence as well. See what the umpire signals. It's four runs, another boundary to push back Amara. And the deficit moves into the 40s. 47 required from Sri Lanka now. Oh, nasty. That is nasty. The change of pace for Push Pakamara, who so far has played the spinners brilliantly, but will now be asked some rather different questions. Oh, Push Pakamara has gone. The evades of action. He doesn't have that protection under the helmet out the back where we see so many helmets these days. I don't like the way he's taking the eyes off the ball. Luckily, that has got the helmet. Well played, Melinda pushed back Amara. He took a nasty blow to the back of the head. First ball of that over, but showed uh, real bravery and courage to survive it. And Sri Lanka take this game onwards into the third session of the fourth day. They are 43 away from their victory target. The partnership between the last pair of Lakmal and Pushpak Amara has added 58. Ah! Huge appeal again. What do they think this time? Gone! And reviewed straight away. It's not over yet. W. Mark. It's a fair delivery. Uh, spin vision, please. Doesn't look like any bet. Uh, ultra edge to confirm, please. Yep, uh, when ball tracking is ready, please. Ravi, the impact is in line. And it is umpire's call on the stumps, so you can stay with your decision. It's all over. Umpire's call did it straighten ever so much it just needed to be hitting that's the end from umpire Ravi been really hard fought this for England they win the series 3-0 they win this game by 42 runs but it's been tough they tried hard and that wicket also makes it 100 wickets to the spinners in this three test series that's a lot only 116 fell only the third time that England have whitewashed a three-match series outside of England. This has been a real good game of cricket, a real test. Four wickets down last night, Sri Lanka. They could have folded. They've had great pride today, Sri Lanka. Tried and fought really hard. It's just straightened ever so slightly, and it's clipping leg stump. Umpire's view. And then the ball travels, and it's clipping leg stump. Let's see the joy in the Englishmen. They were made to work hard, so very hard today. I've enjoyed the experience. It's tough when you lose, but Sri Lanka there have given it everything today. Some real calmness about the batting. And these spinners, my England team, have had to work hard for that victory. Four for Leach.